Now I can't be the only one who's always wanted a cuckoo clock. I just love when that bird pops out at the top of the hour and go woo -hoo, woo -hoo, woo -hoo, or whatever sound they make. So today is a very exciting day because we have Cloud Nola's rendition of said cuckoo clock. It's a classic cuckoo clock with their simplistic design that Cloud Nola is known for. It does come in both black and white options. I happen to have the black model with that little gold ring in the middle. You know, black and gold, black and gold, kinda. It's an original Puerto Rican and Dutch design, and as you can see, we got that gold flare everywhere. Not too much to see on the outside, but what's on the inside is what I want, because this box I don't care for, but the cuckoo clock is forever. Woo. Just like I said, the box, it's gone. And inside the box, we do have an instruction manual. It even comes with a guide so you can easily mount it on your wall. As well as the cuckoo clock looking nice in all black. Ooh. Ooh. Feels nice. Ooh. We have a very simplistic design. On the left side, we got the hour and minute hands that show you what time it is along with a little Cloud Nola insignia. We have these two white hands going against the nice glossy black background with some nice gold accents underneath looking mighty fancy. And then over here on the right side, this is the part that makes me go cuckoo for cuckoo clocks, I guess. We got the little bird on the inside of this nice gold ring. You know I love my gold and this thing's got some gold. It's actually not too heavy, I'm surprised. Take a close look at that little bird in there waiting to pop out at the top of the hour. Is that a turtle dove? I'm just thinking back to home alone, I'm not sure. From the top, very simple, all the way around, just all black everything, looking nice. Now in the back behind the scenes is where all the magic's going down. We have two AA batteries over here on the left side to power the cuckoo mechanism along with the bird and the sound effects. We have a little red button here which is going to help us set the time so it knows when to sleep at night. Because you don't want this bird chirping in the middle of the night while you're sleeping, right? Do you? I mean, you might. As well as a volume switch to control how loud the bird will chirp. Then over here on the right side, we have a little battery compartment here. You put one AA battery in here to make the clock hands move. Very simple operation. And there's also a little knob in there to help set the time. We are once again looking at a quartz non-jewel unadjusted movement. And on the back of the flap, it tells you the cuckoo sleeps for seven hours a day. They do recommend using Duracell batteries with all their clocks, although I don't happen to have any laying around. But you know, when you actually want to set this thing up, make sure you put Duracell in there. Better safe than sorry. Let's get the batteries popped in. Then we pop one in the clock side. We can close the little flap on the back. Okay, that was easy. And now that we have the batteries in, we're gonna turn the sound all the way up to max. Happens to be 8.47 p.m. Oh, the bird's coming out. Hey, little fella, what's she doing? Take a look at that bird looking super nice. You can hear the chirps. And then it goes bye-bye. Now the bird wasn't actually super loud, although I guess if you are trying to sleep, it would probably wake you up, but it has a nice ambiance sound. Every time I pass the hour, he comes out. It's probably around here, that's like 8.48, right? I wish there were some lines, because I don't know how to do this. All right, so I busted out the manual so we can get this set up so the chirping stops while I'm trying to sleep at night. So according to the manual, the bird sleeps between 2200 hours and 500 hours, which is gonna be 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. That's a seven hour time period. Obviously, if you sleep between different hours of the night, you can change that at will. Although it's gonna be a little bit complicated to do that, you're gonna use that red button on the back to press it up to 23 times to let it know what time it is right now. So in turn, it'll know what time 10 p.m. is. So right now it's 8.50 p.m., which is gonna be 20 hundred hours, 2,000 hours, How, how's that work? Uh, whatever, 20 o'clock. <laughs> So we would need to press the red button 15 times, that way it knows it's on the 8 o'clock p.m. hour. So, if you wanted the clock to stop chirping at midnight until 7 a.m., you would adjust it to being... What, 6 p.m.? <laughs> this military time's messing me up. You would tell it that it's 6 p.m. right now, that way you have an extra two hours of chirping before midnight. There you go, I figured it out, okay. So you know, you can do some math there and set it to your time that you want. But it's always gonna be seven hours no matter what. There's no way to change that. So what do we got, 15 times? So we got the red button on the back. We're gonna press this 15 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So as you can see, you can have it set to high, medium, or have the sound completely off with the bird just coming out silently. 
There is a bit of a motor sound when the bird goes in and out, although it's not too loud, but it is a little loud, so you probably would hear it. The motor is a bit on the louder side, although it shouldn't be much of an issue during the day. And good thing it sleeps at night. Yeah, I really wish the motor was a bit quieter. That's kind of throwing me off a bit. So now that we got this all set up, you have a couple of options when it comes to displaying this masterful clock. On the back, we do have two holes to mount this on a wall. So you need to drill two holes in the wall, put two screws in there and hang it up. Very easy. Good thing it came with this guide on where to drill the holes. Otherwise, it would be a nightmare for me trying to level it out and measure exactly where to put it. Or just like this, you can just have it sitting on a table, on your mantle, on your nightstand, wherever you want. It just stands up perfectly fine and looks awesome. So I'm gonna go get this mounted on the wall, set up on a table, we'll see how it looks, and I'll be right back after, you know, all the magic's done. And we are back. I got the clock mounted on the wall very easily. If you have a drill, you know how to drill some holes. You know how to use a pen to mark it where the holes are supposed to go using the included guide. There's no issues with that. It's super simple and a very easy process. But if you don't want to drill holes in your wall, you don't want it on your wall, you can just put it anywhere. Set it up on your nightstand, set it up on an end table, set it up on your mantle above the fireplace. The world is yours and your imagination's all that's holding you back. Once it's on the wall, it looks super awesome. I'm really liking the clock. The glossy black is definitely a fingerprint magnet. Although remember, it's a clock. No one's gonna be touching it all. Would they? I mean, when I see a cuckoo clock, I kind of want to touch the bird at least. So just don't let people touch it or it's going to get fingerprints. You're going to have to wipe it off every couple minutes. Just like when you use a phone, you have to wipe off the screen all the time, wipe off the back because it gets all fingerprinty. Kind of the same situation going on with this clock. So fingerprints are a big issue. I feel like the white version wouldn't show the fingerprints as much, although I'm not sure which. I guess it depends on the decor around your house, whether it's white or black that looks the best. Overall though, it's a cuckoo clock and cuckoo clocks make me go cuckoo for clocks. So that's awesome. If you want to pick one up, let me know what color you're going to get. Black or white or maybe you're gonna go with one of their many other clocks because they have a ton of different clocks they're all super impressive I mean can you really have too many clocks around your house I don't think so you got to know what time it is in every room right not that I have a watch on or anything <laughs> but at least it looks cool it adds to the ambiance of your room really sets the scene and plus you can see what time it is too and plus this one's a cuckoo clock so the bird comes out and chirps that's awesome